Hey everybody, this is Andrew here with the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop. And today we're gonna to be talking about e-bike classes and you know, what are they? I'm sure you've you know, been shopping around for e-bikes. You may be familiar with the different classes, you may not, but for sure you've probably seen class one, two, or three thrown around in the e-bike world here and there. But we're gonna explain what the differences between those different classes are. So obviously we're gonna start with class one right at the top. So a class one e-bike is any e-bike that goes no faster than 20 miles per hour with pedal assist only. So class one bikes cannot have throttles and cannot go faster than 20 miles per hour assisted by a motor. A great example of this is our priority current we have here because this has absolutely zero throttle, has a uh, mid-drive here with a five-speed internal hub. This is about as definition of class one as you get. Now, class ones are typically uh, pretty unrestricted. You can ride them in most bike lanes, bike paths, trails, without any issues there. Class ones are about as uh, basic as it gets for e-bikes. And we're gonna jump up to a class two e-bike. Now, a class two e-bike is very, very similar to a class one. Cannot exceed 20 miles per hour, pedal assist, but the extra added part of a class two is it has a throttle. So any bike that has a throttle, does no faster than 20 miles per hour, that is gonna fall under a class two e-bike. Class two e-bikes are where it starts to get a little dicey where you're allowed and not allowed to ride it. Um, generally speaking, on class twos, most of the time you can use bike paths, trails, things like that, but it depends where you're located. Local towns or ordinances may have laws preventing class twos, or your local state may have some laws, but definitely be aware of it about where the class twos rest. But again, class two, up to 20 miles per hour with a throttle and a pedal assist. Finally, that leads us to class three. Now class three e-bikes, it can get a little confusing. So a class three e-bike is any e-bike that goes up to 28 miles per hour under pedal assist only and has a speedometer. Now from there, it actually kind of breaks up very specifically via state by state on further rules from that. And throttles are probably the biggest part of that. Like uh, here in California, for example, a class three e-bike that goes over 28 miles per hour cannot have a throttle. If it has a throttle and goes over 28 miles per hour, it's technically kind of in this gray area against the law. So definitely be aware of that. Also in the state of California, if you're riding a class three bike, there are a few requirements by the state and you can look these up on the, uh, the DMV as well. And that is if you're riding a class three e-bike. You must be 16 years or older. You must wear a helmet. You may not ride with anybody else on the bicycle and you may be allowed on a bike path depending on your local ordinances. As a kind of rule of thumb, typically class threes, unless specifically stated, are generally not accepted on off-road trails, bike paths, segregated bike lanes. They generally do not take those there. Now riding in the regular street, you're generally fine, but those more bike specific paths, definitely look it up if you're riding a class three. Well, the class rankings are gonna depend a bit where you're located and then the rules pertaining to them are gonna depend greatly where you live. But it's always important to be aware of what class your e-bike is and your local rules because you wanna be riding fun, but not breaking any rules and making it safe for all cyclists out there. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day.